Hey guys, it's Drutter, October the 10th, 2012 today. And as you can see, the good weather continues here in Vancouver. And, as you can see, the tomatoes continue to ripen. The plants themselves are looking pretty worse for wear. Elderly plants. But the tomatoes are doing very well. And there's still quite a few, so I have not brought them in. You can see some black prints there in the background. Lots of these sweet 100s. And they are quite delicious. But this video is not about silver or really anything else. I just wanted to let you know my grandmother is not well and she's in the hospital and we're not sure if she's going to make it or not at this time so um, I'm here in her garden just sort of thinking about whether or not I will be here next year or not because I know my family doesn't intend to keep this property once she's gone so um, yeah been in to visit her every day since she got sick. That was about a week ago now, around about when my last video came out. And, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to announce that I may be, depending on what happens, um, not really all that available. Um, my website is up. I don't know if my prices are reflecting the current spot value or not. I will get to that when I can. And, um, uh, you know, videos will be few and far between until this is resolved, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and if things do turn uh, for the worse, or even worse than they are now, then I may have to take a little bit of time off. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Oh, there's a message now. Um, so, that's about it. I just wanted to let you guys know that. And um, I'll put a couple of clips that I took over the last couple of days um, after this, but then uh, this video will end and I won't be talking about silver or anything else, so thanks for paying attention, thanks for listening, and thanks for your understanding. I hope everyone's doing well, and uh, if you are where the weather is still nice, I hope you're enjoying it, because this is amazing fall weather and really good for us gardeners. Don't have to say goodbye to our plants quite yet. Um, they're almost like family too. <laughs> and these ones will be coming inside when the frosts loom, which should be in the next couple of weeks. I would imagine anyway. Talk to you guys soon. I just wanted to show you what those Black Prince tomatoes look like when they are ripened. These aren't fully ripened. Uh, this is about as uh, soon as I would harvest them really. Um, they're firm, but you can feel that they're soft and juicy inside. They're definitely ripe, um, but they would ripen further if I left them um, a little longer. But as you can see, <clears throat> the green of the tomato is replaced with almost a maroon, light brown kind of color. Obviously, they're not black tomatoes, um, but they are quite different from the color of most tomatoes, which tends to be somewhere between yellow, orange, or of course red, um, but these black prints are, um, I don't know, almost maroon. They will go a bit br uh, browner, really, if I let them continue to ripen and get nice and soft, uh, which is really good condition for taking the seeds, but I'm going to take the seeds from these ones. Uh, this will be the third generation of seeds that I've had from this line of black prints tomatoes, and um, next year I'll be planting the fourth. They're quite tasty. And uh, if anyone's interested in the seeds, I will be doing a video in the next little while where I'll be giving away some seeds uh, that I've harvested from my garden this year. Just wanted to show you part of my haul this year. I'm about to do my first batch of uh, seed collecting. These ones I'm going to take the seeds out of. Actually, I don't need that many seeds. I probably won't do them all, but these are all candidates for taking seeds. Um, these ones are not. And uh, everything is going to be 
put into the pot and I'm going to be making marinara sauce. I'll put a link down below to the video where I made marinara sauce in the past in case you're interested in the recipe and I'll be canning that and freezing some of it as well and if you're interested in how I collect my seeds it's pretty much the same as I did last year so I'll put down below a link to the video where I collected them last year. The product of many many hours of work delicious jar of freshly made rich natural organic marinara sauce that will last the winter basically just tomatoes onions and uh, some herbs and spices simmered overnight in a crock pot and canned so I'll be enjoying marinara sauce fresh from my garden until about oh, I'd say March or so? Get well, Grandma.